Mr. Minstrel, will you please tell me one of your stories? I shall tell you a tale of a war fought many, many years ago. A tale of Avalon and the Varenne Empire, and the succession of emperors that led it into prosperity. Spirits, lend me your voices, that this tale might inspire all to greater heights! The stage is set during the time of good Emperor Leon. In those days of Eld, Avalon was a nation of little note. Conflict had spread throughout the land, like fire through dense brush. Leon knew that quenching its flames was key to unifying the people under one banner. Under his roof, he cared for two sons. The courageous Victor and the kind-hearted Gerard. One fine spring day, Emperor Leon took Gerard out on a foray to call the fiends lurking in a cave. What should I do in this situation? Well done, everyone! Father, we have been beset upon! Time to act. I can do this. Your Grace! Perhaps you should rest. It could not have been easy to get here. No. We have not a moment to waste. But Your Majesty, there are many dangerous foes lurking within these walls. No need for concern. Gerard must learn to fend for himself eventually. I am more than aware of the perils we face. Are you ready, Gerard? We will engage the enemy with the Imperial Cross Formation. I shall take up position in the center, while Bear will protect us from the front. James and Therese shall occupy the flanks. Finally, you shall remain in the back. The safest position for someone as green as you. Focus on offense. Let's move out! Sir! Yeah. 
Excellent. That appears to be the last of them. It shall take two full turns of the clock for the mages to weave their spell and seal the cavern. Once that is complete, those fiends will never bother us again. Now, let us away. The people anticipate your return. strong country and a brave emperor to lead them. As such, they expect great things of victory, and one day you. 
So it would seem, Father. I shan't betray their trust. I vow to protect the people of Varen with my very life. I am pleased you have returned safely. Gerard, I trust you are unhurt? That I am, brother. Though it has taken longer than expected, I am no longer a hindrance in battle. Gerard is much better suited to focusing on his studies than setting foot on the battlefield. Perhaps you should refrain from taking him with you on your campaigns? As the eldest, I feel the battles are best left to me. I understand your position, but fear that the return of the Seven Heroes gives us little leeway in the matter. The Hounds of War howl louder with each passing day, and as long as they do, chaos shall plague our lands. With threats facing us on all sides, we cannot afford to have Gerard shirk his martial training in favor of his letters. Perhaps, but I feel the Empire also requires capable strategists if it is to truly thrive. I can think of none more suited to that task than he. My lord, a woman by the name of Oriev requests an audience with you. Her again. She is persistent. I will give her that. Very well. Show her in. It is an honor to finally meet you, Emperor of Avalon. I must say, this is quite a surprise. I'd expected Asiris to be a touch more wizened. Victor, Gerard, leave us for now. Today is that woman's lucky day. It is obvious that Father was looking for an excuse that he could use to cut our conversation short. Remember that reading up on combat theory is no substitute for actual experience. I will, brother. Gerard, how have your studies been progressing of late? Not very well, I'm afraid. I have been accompanying my father on his expeditions, which leaves little time for learning. Yes, you have gone on a good many forays of late. Hmm, perhaps you would be more suited to spell over sword? It may take some practice, but I assure you the juice is worth the squeeze. Unfortunately, I still don't know any spells. That simply won't do. Magic can often strike true in situations in which simple physical armaments prove less effective. Allow me to start you on the path with the most elementary of pyrology arts. Fireball. Lord Gerard, perhaps you should take up archery. A volley from afar can end a battle before it starts. Archery? I would snap the bowstring simply by knocking the arrow. Oh, nothing a touch of practice can't fix. With my expert instruction, you'll master it in no time. 
I think you put too much faith in my abilities. Pay him no mind, Lord Gerard. Focusing on a weapon for which you feel more affinity will surely lead to greater results. Use weapons you're comfortable with to get that glimmer of inspiration needed to learn new techniques. Very true. Perhaps I should simply forgo bows altogether. Nonsense! Emperor Leon's noble blood courses through your veins as well! See you have returned, Lord Gerard. Has hunting fiends with his majesty honed your skill with the blade? Not exactly. I fear I am not meant to wield a blade. Try to think of it this way, young master. You need but find which role best suits you out on the battlefield. I'm afraid the knowledge I have gleaned from books does not apply on the battlefield. I personally am neither nimble nor fleet of foot as anyone can likely tell from a glance. Instead, I focus on becoming a veritable iron wall. By standing my ground and never retreating, I can protect everyone else from danger. Therefore, please do not lose heart. There is a role out there that suits you, for certain. You will indeed have to put in the work first, but eventually it will come to you. I look forward to seeing you grow into the man I know you can be. It is kind of you to say so. Lord Gerard, I fear for your safety. You may be skilled in letters, but you can hardly be considered ready for the battle to come. I appreciate your concern. However, I must do what I can to carry on my family's legacy. In that case, you should try honing your skills with different weapons, for they are the key to combat. An untrained hand cannot hope to bring the full might of their armaments to bear. A practiced one, however, will undoubtedly make you a force to be reckoned with. Thank you. I shall do my best. Feel free to ask me anything. I shall assist you in whatever manner you require, no matter how trivial it may seem. Gerard, my heart nearly stopped when I learned you had gone with your father to the caverns. Did you suffer any wounds? Nary a scratch. We cannot count on that always happening, though. Do not shirk your swordsmanship lessons, or you may not be so lucky next time. If ever your retinue were to fall in battle, you must have a means of protecting yourself. If it comes to that point, I'm afraid we may have already lost. Where I can never hope to match your prowess. An army is only as strong as its weakest link. And should I be forced to keep constant watch over you, we will surely be bested at some point. Uh, understood. I shall do my best to not hamstring the troops. I believe that everyone has their rightful place. And yours would be in the library, not on the battlefield. Oh, I see. With all due respect, Lord Gerard, you need to hear this. While we mercenaries will fight tooth and nail for whomever we are contracted with, we will not sign a contract with simply anyone. We only work with people whose orders are backed by strength. Should our patron prove to be nothing more than a paper tiger, 
we will not hesitate to serve someone else. Okay, I shall keep that in mind. If I may, Father, what exactly did that woman wish to discuss? How someone named Kazinsi in Salmon is not to be trusted. Though Kazinsi may be one of the seven heroes, I do not see him being an immediate threat. Still, it would behoove us to remain vigilant. Between that woman's warning and the legend of the seven heroes, I know not which to believe. The truth, however, will reveal itself eventually. All that we can do now is work to ensure peace for the Empire.
should I do in this situation? Let's go. Let us press on. But to fight! Here 
shows nothing! I'm ready for anything! Okay. Our empire shall never falter! Advantage here. Bullseye. I see. Watch and learn, Gerard. The traits. I never let my prey escape. Okay. Okay. Are you injured, Gerard? Heavens. I shall have my men take care of stragglers in whatever remains of the nest. That should keep our lands free of fiends for the time being. At any rate, I suggest we return to the castle. Victor is probably biting his nails as we speak. He is prone to worry. Well then, let us make haste so he may put his mind at ease. What is going on? No. Is that... Victor! Brother! My son, are you okay? What happened here? Father... <laughs> My flowing slash found its mark. And yet... Victor! This can't be happening! Oh. My beloved child, please, you must open your eyes. Stay with us, Victor. Don't go. Report, soldier. Who dare lay a finger on my heir? Stand, so shall I! Let's see how you like the taste of steel! <sighs> okay then, how about this? I like the wind! You certainly have courage, but not the experience to match! Just hold on a little more! 
will... Through my sacrifice, may Avalon live on! <laughs> Tell me, are you absolutely certain he claimed to be Kazinsi from Salmon? Yes. Then you ought to search this city for a seeress named Oriev. Once you find her, tell her I request her presence. Yes, my lord. Kazitsi, you will pay for your crimes. As for Kazinsi? That cannot be. Then how did he? An ancient technique. Inherit your abilities. Inherit? Then Gerard? No, no, no. No, I... Uh, I don't believe it. You can't die. You just can't. It's not fair. It's not fair! It's your father, Gerard. What would Victor think if he saw you sobbing in your room like this? We can grieve once your brother has been avenged. Are you with me? Yes. I'm ready, father. Father, 
have been beset upon! Leave everything to me! I'll lead the way! Good thing. Well done, everyone! Annihilate them! What should I do in this situation? I, I'm ready! That's it! Yeah. Watch and learn, Gerard. Do it! Right. Eat this! Allow me to prove my might! It's my turn. Give the love. We fought well today. Set upon it. Fall back. Wait. Are you injured, Gerard? But to fight! I'm ready! Not today! Wait! My resolve is until. Bullseye! Okay! Are you injured, Gerard? Leave everything to me. Now. Let's go. Okay. That's it. Now. Yes. Okay. Long live the Empire. I must follow my father's example. This way to safety! I 
No turning back now. Bullseye. Not today. Great. It's my turn. It's splendid. Keep up this momentum. I'll handle this. So long. Hold on. Eat this! Ah, okay. Let us press on. They will pay for attacking the Empire. I'm ready. Not today. Time to act. Attack is one. We fight for the Empire. Let's go. Okay. Well done, everyone. Father's example. Yeah. I never let my prey escape. Okay. I'll handle this. <laughs> so long. Okay. Let us press on.
ruin the situation. Okay. Great. Let us press on. We have been beset upon! Follow my lead! Time to echo that! I'll handle this. Wait! Are you injured, Gerard? I can do this. Let's go. Okay. They were clearly outmatched. Attack! Okay. So long. They were clearly outmatched. situation. Okay. Long live the Empire. Yeah. Let's put an end to this. Nikolta! What should I do in this- uh -huh. ah, Okay! Let us press on! Quickly! Do okay! Let's go! So long. They were clearly outmatched. I never let my 
prey escape. My resolve is unmatched. I see. I can see that. I'm ready. Now! Not today. Ready yourself. Witness our combined strength! Okay. We fought well today. Our lives are on the line here. Bullseye. Okay. I'll handle this. I'm ready for any chance. Splendid! Keep up this momentum. We have been beset upon! Yeah. I never let my prey in. Okay! I'll handle this. Okay! Let us press on!
this is most unexpected. <laughs> you must be Avalon's Emperor. Come to hand me the keys to the castle. As a reward for your touching display of fealty, I, in my infinite largesse, shall appoint you Castellan. Serve you? After how you murdered my son? You know full well how this will end, yet here you are. Some would call your actions bold, but you know what I call them? Foolish. It must run in the family. Now to claim my empire and send you to your death. Be sure to give my regards to your son! But now playtime is over! No! Father! You'll pay for this, Kazinzi! Stand down, Gerard! You cannot defeat Kazinzi! Like this. Flee now, my son. But... But, Father! Go on, run! I won't stop you. Either way, your father is doomed. And once word of my deed has spread, Avalon and its castle will be mine for the taking. So do me a favor and tidy the place up before my arrival. <laughs> <laughs> Gerard, I'm right here by your side, Father. Please, you must conserve every last bit of your strength. Gerard, you are the Emperor now. Gazinsi will come to seize the throne ere long. Yes, I know. I fear he is too much for you as things stand. Thus I beseech you to inherit my power. Understand? Of course. However, permit me to ask, what do you mean I must inherit your power? That Cirrus, she taught me the secret of inheritance magic. If two people are of the same mind and a strong enough will, one can pass their spirit, memories, and abilities on to the other. Perhaps her words are but wind. After all, she is shrouded in mystery. Yet those words are all we have. Without them, Avalon has no hope for its future. Should they prove true, then you have a chance. I can pass my knowledge of Kazinsi's soul steel onto you. That is why you risk your life? Because of some charlatan in her silver tongue? She deceived you, father. Took advantage of your desperation. Calm yourself, Gerard. That monster threatens to consume the Empire. Nay, the entire world. I will gladly die to save it. But Father, surely it must be a ruse. How has no one else ever heard of this inheritance magic before? I too had my doubts at first. 
Yet one after the other, each prophecy she made came true. Kazinsi's brutal assault on the Empire, Victor's noble sacrifice, all of it. The legend claimed that the seven heroes would save the world, yet Kazinsi's antics tell a different tale. He does not wish to save the world, but remake it in his image. I know not whether he is an imposter or if the legends are merely just that, stories meant to comfort us. Yet I would pay any price if it meant the world would not be under the thumb of the seven heroes. If you agree that their cruelty and ambition matches Kazinsi's, the only way to bring peace to this fractured world is to banish them from it. Are you willing to forego all else to achieve that end? Yes. Very well. The path you must walk will be long and arduous. Perhaps too long for you alone. Seek out others who share your sense of resolve. Gerard. Remember, my soul shall always live on within you. Goodbye, son. Father... No! You... you can't... Don't leave me! These memories of countless battles resonating within my soul. He's... he's here with me. Thanks for watching. A like would be appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe.